on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my best to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I have so many dreams. Then you hit your teens. I think really what it seems. Try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow. Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline Yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in Let me in, yeah Good guys. Kumusta kayo lahat? So today we're gonna review another classic car. So this is a 1998 Mercedes CLK320. So here you go. It's in finish in white, like a white metallic finish. So you got your oval headlamps here. So headlamps and your bright lamps. And you got your fog lamps here. Then you got your famous Mercedes logo. Back in the day, nakataas siya, hindi siya flat. Today's Mercedes flat logo lang siya. So, ang problema lang this one, ninalakawan to sa parking. For some reason, binibenta siguro to or whatever. So, yun. Then you got your, your tires here are size 18s. These are Mercedes AMG tires. So, these are 235-40R18. Then at the back, it's a staggered setup. So, at the back, you got 245-40R18 tires. So it's a little bit wider at the back. So this, like I said guys, this is a cabriolet, so it's a soft top convertible. But it's a four-seater convertible. So you got your antenna here at the back. And here, let's let's open the trunk. So with any soft top or any convertible, when the roof goes down, you have a little space at the back. But there's enough space to put a golf uh, golf bag here. And you got your battery here. So a lot of European cars, the battery is always at the back, not at the front. So you got your full-size spare tire here and your jack right there. So this is the roof actually here. That's a soft top roof. So it's enough space for maybe a couple of bags of groceries. You can see everything's original. You got your hood shocks here. That's nice. Well taken care of car. 60,000 kilometers. 1998, so 22 years. So guys, after this, we're going to talk about, we're going to show you the interior. We're going to show you the engine. And we're going to do a nice test drive around the village. Here we're in the interior of the CLK320. So it's very standard, you know, in 1998, a lot of buttons, not a lot of screens, not a lot of touch screens, right? So here are the control seats. This has heat warmers. So the buttons here and you got your emergency light here your lock and unlock button then you have your controls to this red button here is to open and close the roof the soft top roof then you got your gear uh, lever here so it's a four, uh, four speed automatic okay then you have lower gear so four three two and one so if you're gonna go incline so you use uh, first gear. If you're going to decline, maybe three and uh, fourth gear. Okay. So then you have your folding side mirrors. There you go. Then your controls for your your controls for your um, side mirrors here to adjustment. Right and left. Then you to open your trunk and your back windows and front windows here. So European cars normally the window setup is in the middle of the console. Then you got your adjustment uh, seats here. Mercedes normally their adjustment is on the 
the doors, the driver and passenger. So you got your three memory uh, settings here. Then you got a foot brake, and to release, you just pull it. And to to press the brake, just use your left foot. Then you got your dials for your headlights. So it has fog lights and rear lights also. So the color of the interior lights, now it's a little bit, um, it's still around five, five o'clock, so it's still sunny. Uh, it's around the like, amber color. It has an amber interior color. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to get in a uh, convertible or any two-door car. So you just lift this uh, lever here and automatically adjust for you. Can you go in? It's very easy. So I'm around 5'7 guys. And I fit sakto lang. 5'7 to 5'8, 5'9 is perfect. If you're taller than 5'9, medyo mahirapan ka. So there you go. So you can easily fit four people here on short drives. Long drives, maybe uh, maybe an hour or two drive. Anything over two hours, medyo it's gonna be hard for you. So it's very comfortable. The seats are comf comfortable, nice and padded. So that's the back seat of the CLK P20. So guys, let's check the engine of the 320 CLK. So here you go. So this is a 3.2 V6 with 221 horsepower and around 380 newton meters of torque. So it's a lot of power and a lot of torque for a 98 model. So there you go, six cylinders. So as you can see, right? Then there's your ultra racing strut bar here, front strut bar. Then you got your Group M um, air intake, so better flow of air for the engine. And that's that's what uh, a little modification can do for a very simple, you know, setup. And you got your hood shocks here, and also heat insulation here. So you have your traditional coolant tank here, your washer fluid here, your brake fluid at the back, your fuse box there. Yeah, so it's very simple. So even for a 98 bottle, it's still nice and clean. 221 horsepower is a lot of horsepower. So that's basically the engine for this CLK320. So guys, we're gonna do a test drive on this CLK320. So guys, I'm doing a voiceover for this uh, test drive uh, video um, of the CLK320. Just because the roof is down, it's gonna be hard for you to listen because of all the wind noise. So anyway, so here you go. I'm driving around the village and I'm um, testing how this 1998 CLK320 drives. And I'm telling you, it's such in pristine, great condition car. I mean, it's well taken care of. Like I said, it only has a little over 60,000 kilometers. And everything is tight. The suspension is tight. Though it was replaced. But like I said, uh, parts like this do wear down throughout the years. But it depends also on how you drive and where you go. It's such a great car to drive, even on the top down. You know, I normally don't drive cars top down just because, alam mo naman, at the weather is hot. But it's nice to drive around the village because it's a more controlled environment. And I really appreciate, you know, the wind, the fresh air, and you can see more of the trees around you. And it's it's in the breeze, of course. So, you know, this car has, you know, a good amount of power. You know, you're talking about over 200 horsepower. And a good amount of torque and uh you know it's very peppy you have to build the car up because you know you have to basically it's not a turbocharger or it has no supercharger so you really have to rev the car up to get the most horsepower out of the car which is great though i like building the power more than instant torque that's just how i grew up you know driving cars because you know back then wala naman masyadong turbocharger or supercharged cars so this is still a 3.2 six cylinder, you know, V6 engine, but it's a well built engine. It sounds great after so many years. I mean, everything's original. The interior is still intact. There's no cracks. Like I said, um, it's, it's great to buy cars at this era. You're talking about 80s, 90s and early 2000s when there's not too much electronics and it's easier to maintain than the cars of today. I, I believe cars of today are if things break down it's very costly uh, with older cars it's a little bit uh, easier to maintain if you have the passion and you have the time and you have the a little knowledge about the cars it's easier to maintain and uh you know the prices of these cars are sometimes the price of a brand new Wego or a brand new mirage so 
you know, it's it's hard to compare. I know the Wego and it's a brand new car, it's cheaper to maintain, but there's nothing like driving a you know, a European a sedan or a coupe, coupe, you know, it's 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 just the build quality is just different. Uh, it feels heavy, of course, but it's it's a good kind of heavy. Um, you know, like the nice thing also is you know the wood interior. It's still of good quality and it's real wood. It's not fake wood. You know, like a lot of cars of today they use fake wood, plastic that looks like wood. And the you know the cover, like a lot of people ask are asking, you know the soft top, the the mechanism itself, and also the material can be replaced. So that's that's okay. I mean that's that's fine. So now I'm revving the car and in around below 2000 rpm I hit 80 kilometers. It's pretty fast. It's I think it's around six and a half seconds. So from zero to one hundred kilometers. So you know I really appreciate these kind of cars. That's why I love reviewing cars like this and showing to other people uh the beauty of old cars. They're not just old cars, but you're buying history. You're buying build quality. You know, back then these cars were worth a lot of money. And even today they're worth quite a good amount of money, even though they're old. As long as the first or second owner maintained the car properly, you know, it's a fantastic car. I promise you'll never get it. So guys, you know, like I've been driving around the village and I'm talking about the car. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who's been watching the video. Um, like I said, I do apologize for the voiceover. But I just wanted to make it clear instead of, you know, all that wind noise. So for more used and new car reviews, please watch my channel, subscribe.